On the 4th of March 2000, the cargo vessel Yugo reports to the Coast Guard Centre that they are in great difficulties. As usual, the Coast Guard Centre informs the North Sea Directorate of the Directorate General of Public Works and Water Management. Yeah, John, kus was met die vorm. Zeg het volgende: dat de bulkship Yugo die is uitgaand met 20 graden slagzee en de positie is ongeveer tussen de Maas Center en de Maas West 6. The situation is serious. If the ship sinks, the bunker oil and perhaps also the cargo could pose a threat to the environment. This is why the incident team of the North Sea Directorate is alerted. The team must find out what type of cargo the vessel is carrying, what type of fuel it has on board and how much. While the incident team deliberates, the situation worsens. In the dead of night, the crew wants to be picked up. It is a murder rescue. The last information is that the ship is sinking and the bemanning is still on board. In the meantime, information is received about the owner of the vessel and that the bunker tanks contain 225 tons of heavy fuel oil and 75 tons of gas oil. The cargo consists of 8,000 tons of mill scale. As required by law, the shipper has retained a sample of the cargo. The crisis team collects the sample and takes it to RISA, a research institute of the Directorate General for Public Works and Water Management, for urgent analysis. The laboratory confirms that the cargo is mill scale, a mixture of iron ore residue, oil and water. Luckily, there is no direct danger to human life and the marine environment. The incident team investigates where the ship is located in relation to shipping lanes, etc. As soon as weather permits, the hydrographic vessel Arca leaves port to perform a wreck survey. The Coast Guard aeroplane is used to see whether oil is leaking from the wreck. If any pollution is observed from the aeroplane, the North Sea Directorate will immediately deploy their anti-pollution vessels. The ARCA makes side-scan sonar recordings where the vessel has sunk. This determines the exact position, location and depth of the wreck. Using this information, the wreck is marked with a light buoy so that shipping traffic can pass safely. We have the west cardinale light buoy, while het wrak van the Iugo markeert and positie. The wreck is lying in a busy shipping route and constitutes an obstacle. Moreover, after prolonged contact with seawater, the mill scale could, after all, cause environmental problems. Consequently, both the vessel and the cargo must be removed. Based on their salvage plan and tender, the task is given to Smith Tech. In order to prevent pollution, they start by pumping the oil out of the wreck, then the mill scale is salvaged. The vessel has ended up on the seafloor on her port side. In order to access the holds, divers have to cut large holes in the starboard side of the Yugo. The entire salvaged cargo is stored in barges. The North Sea Directorate measures how much mill scale has been pumped up and compares this with the quantity of cargo recorded. At the end of the day, the difference between the 8,000 tonne cargo at the start of the journey and the salvaged quantity must be as small as possible. After the seawater is pumped out of the barges, another sample is taken. Because the mill scale has been exposed to seawater for a long time, the possible effects on the environment must once again be considered. 
the removed cargo is transported and reused. Now the wreck can be removed. The water depth is 30 meters. The Yugo has sustained considerable damage. The vessel cannot be removed in one piece. It must be cut into three sections. Salvage workers pass a heavy chain under the vessel and fasten it to the hoisting blocks of the shear legs with slings as thick as a man's wrist. The chain is lifted slowly and held tightly against the hull of the Yugo. The tackle of the shear legs moves the chain continuously up and down. The resulting friction causes metal fatigue, and in this way the chain cuts the wreck into pieces. During the night, pressure on the hoisting blocks abruptly decreases a sign that the Yugo has been cut through. The weather conditions are excellent. The salvage workers therefore decide to get on with maneuvering the slings, thick steel wires used to lift the individual sections of the wreck under the forward part of the vessel right away. Salvaging the oil, the cargo and the wreck costs almost 5 million euros. The North Sea Directorate holds the owner of the vessel responsible for these costs. The bow section of the vessel is now hanging in the slings of the shear legs, just below sea level. Early in the morning, the first part of this section of the wreck slowly appears above water. For a moment, it appears to be the wrong vessel. However, shortly before her last journey, the Luoi was sold and renamed Yugo. The shear legs lift the bow section of the vessel high enough for a pontoon to be positioned underneath. As soon as the pontoon is in position, the skipper of the shear legs carefully lowers the section of the wreck. This is no easy task, since both the shear legs and the pontoon are constantly moved a few meters up and down with the swell of the sea. The bow section of the wreck is transported on the pontoon to a breaker's yard. During one of its daily surveillance flights, the Coast Guard aeroplane detects an oil slick coming from the last remaining section of the wreck. The exact position and size of the slick are reported to the ARCA, which is on standby at the salvage location. This ship is not only used for hydrographic tasks, but also to contain oil spills at sea. Using modern equipment, the pollution is quickly recovered. The North Sea is one of the busiest shipping routes in the world. Despite strict safety measures and ships that are becoming safer all the time, there is still a chance that accidents will occur. It is the duty of the Dutch government to limit the consequences of shipping accidents as far as possible. This task has been given to the North Sea Directorate, part of the Directorate General of Public Works and Water Management. Its mission a living sea, good sea lanes, and safety for shipping. The salvaging of the Yugo is only one example of the manner in which the North Sea Directorate carries out its mission. Success is due mainly to the use of the correct means and, above all, people. People who are always ready, especially when things go wrong. Kustwacht Centrum, Morgen Heer Vaart en Rotterdam. We hebben de westkardinale lichtboei, welke het wrak van de Jugo markeerde, definitief opgenomen.